Okay, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about small Shania for somebody at home. I think that if in your house you're doing somebody and you're barely missing the, the roof, the ceiling, sorry, um, you should definitely consider making one of these or getting one of these. I can do Subudi with a Boken, uh, Bokuto inside of my apartment, but I feel it slightly sacrifices the form and I actually started getting some feedback that maybe the swing with my right hand wasn't as good. I started noticing that I was pulling my right arm in order to compensate for the ceiling. Sometimes I will hit it, so in order to avoid it, I guess my body naturally started mm, bending my right arm. That's not okay, that's not good. I wanna be able to have a good and relaxed swing and I wanna make sure that I have proper form. So in order to avoid creating bad habits for when I go back to the dojo, I decided to get a small shinai. So I actually got this one from Ibogu in California. I'll leave a link below. This is great. It is a little bit heavier than an actual shinai. One thing that I started noticing is that Sometimes maybe if my arms were tired or so on, my muscles uh, were sore, um, my, I, I started feeling the suburi on my joints a little bit. By the way, I want to make a whole different video about indoor suburi and so on and I just suburi in general. That's going to be a whole different thing. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so when that comes out, hit the notification bell and you will know when it comes out. So in order to avoid injury and keep good form, I decided to make a small shank. I know that the balance is going to be way different, so I do maybe Seisa Suburi, uh, Sonkyu Suburi, and so on um, with a regular Shinai, but I want to keep my form, I want to just make sure that I'm doing good swings, so in order to avoid possible injuries, I'm using this one, and also I'm also using this one just to train my muscles and, and so on. Now. And, I, and again, I'll do a whole different video about all that. So making one of these is very, very, very simple. Obviously, all you need is something to cut wood. I actually ordered this thing from Amazon and uh, it was like 40 bucks and it just made it so much easier. I cut off this from an actual Shinai of mine or should I say from pieces that I have broken in my, my Shinai graveyard. If you can see, I have ones that are like really, really broken there pretty much just measure uh, the the size Actually, let me tell you this one is seventy seven seventy seven centimeters so I kind of went a little bit off the the length of this one um, one thing that I will have to warn you is that make sure that you have a tip that is going to be wide enough to hold the the, the new tip of the shinai because um, it gets thicker depending on your shinai obviously but it gets thicker towards the middle of the body it's it's good to make sure that you have that now this one was almost not good enough but i used pliers to put it in place and it's just a great fit so that being said i'm going to share more on this later on um but right now what i'm doing is i'm doing somebody with the heavier small shinai uh i recently just started uh with the with the regular weight uh, or lighter weight uh, just because again like I, I want to avoid any possible injuries and I'm also doing somebody from Sonkyo or Seisa in order to get or to not forget the feeling of the of the actual Shinai so hopefully hopefully with with all this um, we can keep we can keep improving our kendo and we're not gonna know this until we go back to the dojo but Definitely, definitely this is a time where we can go back to basics and improve our kendo. I, I again, I want to make a video about just suburi in general and and how I think that in in a way it's also going to help, help our kendo more than just the physical part, just the swing part. Um, but if any of this or all of this interests you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I know we're at a time where we're staying longer and longer away from the dojo. A lot of us are not able to go back to dojo and to regular practice. And some of us are allowed or, or able to go back to the dojo but not have regular practice. So I know Subudi, it's becoming very, very important to our improvement of kendo. And 
for myself specifically, I want to make sure that I'm doing the best way I can. So if you have any other perspective, any other suggestions or any, any comments about it, please feel free to share those below. With that said, I, please stay tuned for my next video. Thank you very much for watching this one. And again, all the support that I've been getting from people. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel again, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, Thank you very much.